Hi there. Hi, happy Wednesday. Have you met J2? No, this is J2. J2 is um, who I take with me when I go to classrooms to read my books to kids. She's kind of a conversation starter. Mm, kind of kids want to open up after they see a stuffed animal who doesn't want to talk after seeing such a cute little stuffed animal, huh? Anyway, I had her made to look exactly like Jessie. So there's this company I found online called Petsies. There are several different ones. Um, but anyway, you send it a bunch of pictures. You tell them if you want them laying down, sitting up, tongue in, out, whatever, just different things. And you send a couple pictures. And then along the way, as they're um, making the stuffed animal, they send pictures and then you approve it. And then she comes in the mail. Looks just like her. J2, my little sidekick. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to be reading Jessie to you today. I have my little audience of Tucker over there sitting by me. Not Tucker. Hi, I'm Jessie. I'm a pit bull. I know, I know. Pit bulls are mean. Ha, huh, yeah, right. Well, I'm here to say you can't believe everything you hear. Enough of that. More about me. I must admit, I might be a little funny looking at first glance, but everyone thinks I am gorgeous at least those that matter, and I happen to agree. My hair is soft and shiny and kind of short, definitely easy to manage. Can you imagine what those long hairs go through just to wash their hair? I'm also missing one of my front teeth. Puppy playtime, Neff said. I'm mostly black with a thin white stripe between my eyes. It's a little crooked, just one of my beauty marks. And I have a splash of white around my nose that curls down my chin and makes a cute little shape on my chest. My whiskers? Now they are funny. On one side of my face, they're white. On the other side, black. I guess I'm lucky they're not green. I don't know if you could see J2. Black. White. Now my best feature is my ears. They are what makes me unique. One always stands straight up. The other always flops down. Don't you think that is just the most precious thing? And I love to have my face petted. Well, back to my story. I wasn't always the light of mom's eyes. I used to live at a house where everything wasn't so nice. It was okay at first. I would play and jump on the couch and run around the kitchen. That's where the tooth incident happened. But as I began to grow, my people put a thick collar on me and tied me to a tree in the backyard, even in the rain. I tried to get their attention using my ears, you know, that floppy and straight thing, and I would howl, but nothing seemed to work. It seemed like nobody wanted me anymore. I just sort of gave up. They never came out to play. They would never pet me. One night when it was raining, I pulled up my lead trying to get on the porch. It was wet. 
I pulled and twisted and slipped and slithered. All of a sudden, I couldn't feel the collar anymore. I was free. I scratched at the door, but no one answered. It was dark and cold. I looked around and ran along the fence. I found a loose board and pushed it with my nose. The board moved. I pushed a little more and the board fell off. Wow! I wondered what was on the other side. I squeezed through the hole. All of a sudden, I was on the other side. I could run and run, say it with me, and run. When I stopped running, I was in a strange place. It wasn't a backyard. In fact, it wasn't a yard at all. There were no fences, no collars, no people. It was huge with rows and rows of vines growing on big stumps with clusters hanging down. It's kind of scary. Being in the vine yard wasn't so bad. Early in the morning, people would walk through the vines looking at the purple things. You know, those clusters. I tried eating them, but they were very sour. Anyway, I knew I had to hide, but I was getting really, really hungry. There was water in the ditches, but the only thing I could find to eat was what the peoples had dropped. Not much. It seemed like I was always hungry. One day, there was this person who kept calling me. Here, boy, here, boy. Can't he tell I'm a girl? Just look at me. Do I look like a boy? Anyway, he held out some food. It smelled like a chicken sandwich. Oh, did my mouth start to water. As I was eating the sandwich, he started to pet me. I didn't know how much I missed getting petted. I couldn't get enough. It felt so good. The man took me to a place called a shelter. There were lots of dogs there. <clears throat> Big dogs, little dogs, old dogs, and puppies. Even some pit bulls like me. The peoples gave me a bath. The girl needs her beauty treatment. And some water and treats. I like treats. They even petted my face. After a couple of days at the shelter, a family walked between the cages. I don't want a puppy, I heard the lady say. Then they looked at me. We stared at each other. Something clicked. I knew these were my peoples. I had to have them. I wagged my tail. I smiled. I jumped up and down. I tried to squeeze through the cage to get close to them. Everyone in the family petted me. It felt so good. She looks like a pit bull mom, the girl said, but it says lab mix on the card. She knows I'm a pit bull and she could tell I'm a girl. Beautiful and smart. You know your dogs, the shelter person said. She is a pit bull. But she's so cute, the girl said. Look at her eyes. They sparkle. I put on my bestest smile. Aren't you a sweetie, mom said. See how I called her mom? There are a lot of them around, especially in the shelters, the helper person said. Christina, I think her name was. Pit bulls are normally very sweet and affectionate, 
just like any dog that is loved and cared for. Then they left. I thought I was going home, but they left. Now what was I going to do? I knew I would be stuck at the shelter forever. Later that afternoon, there was a big commotion in the hallway. My family was back and they had brought all of their other dogs to meet me, just to make sure. I get along with everyone, so of course they loved me. That's Tucker over there sleeping. Tucker. Home I went with mom, girl, and three other dogs. What a family. They are so lucky they found me. Really, I'm the lucky one. They took me to school where I learned to sit and stay and lie down. And I can shake hands. Well, pause. Mom takes me for walks every day. I even get to sleep with her on her big, soft bed. Sure beats being tied to a tree, you think? I love being next to her. She tells me how pretty I am. She gives me treats and she tells me I'm a good girl. What more could a girl ask for? And you know what? She pets me. I love having my face petted. So, fun fact about this book, the original title when I started writing it was Jessie's Face. Can you guess why? It kind of starts and ends and has a little part in the middle where she talks about loving to get petted and loving to have her face petted. So anyway, my publisher knew what he was doing when he helped me out. He said, it needs to be just Jesse. So I'm happy that I changed the title, but original title was Jesse's face. Just a little fun fact. All right, enjoy your day. See you on Friday. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.